There are about 8.5 million students or school-going children in Kenya. Most of them, at least 85% of this number, use oil lamps to light up their study. But today, in Business Foresight, we introduce to you a new lighting solution. An entrepreneur who has almost literally lit up the lives of millions of Kenyans. He provides not just light, but affordable solution to the Kenyan market. And with just about 400 Kenyan shillings, you get to light up your way to success. And that is the basis of our discussion on business foresight. Meet the accidental entrepreneur. You do not want to miss that part of this program. My name is Zawadi Mudibo. Meet Gotham Reddy, an Arabi entrepreneur whose love for a green economy inspired his entry into a little known initiative, at least from the experience he has had so far. His product, Thrive Solar, a bright solar lights product which is a complete solar power system with four LED bright bulbs and mobile power charger. He takes me through the journey as it were. My name is Gautam and I'm the director of Thrive Solar Africa. Um, we are into business of solar lighting systems and we have been here for over four years in business and we supply uh, portable lighting systems uh, for the people who are not connected to grid and uh, we partner with uh, like-minded institutions who want to serve these off-grid households. He calls himself an ex-dental entrepreneur. Reason being, he is an electronic engineer by training, was first hired as a trainee engineer in India after his university studies at the age of 23. He rose up the ranks in under two years to be the firm's point man in Africa projects, then the director of Operation Africa. And the sole goal was to offer affordable solar lanterns to millions of deserving school-going children who depended on oil lamps for use. Some, in fact, have never been connected to the national grid. Since I started Thrive, Thrive, uh, Thrive Solar Energy India is my parent company. I joined my parent company as an engineer, as a trainee engineer. Then uh, I, w I worked there for uh, one and a half years. Then I was uh, become... Uh, I was promoted to project engineer, then I came to Kenya on a project that we are supposed to execute with a local partner. Uh, then after that uh, project was completed and we, we, we could not complete everything what we promised to do. So then we had to start our own company together with my support from Indian company. So my boss requested me to become uh, director of the company and he told me that apart from if not you you know he can't he, he can't do everything from India I have, I'm supposed to become the owner and part of the company to lead and also to set up and to market these systems here his entry into Kenya was not an easy one and like any other entrepreneur he saw an opportunity in what seemed as Kenya's worst settlement nightmare the main challenge in Africa is uh, uh, especially when you visit villages, most of these households are scattered. I mean, uh, when you look at uh, townships like Nairobi or Mombasa or Kisumu or any other small town, if you take, people live together, they go to their workplace and they come back. So when they live together, there is power, there is, uh, there is sufficient amount of uh, water facility from the government. I mean, whatever you expect from the government, it is possible when you are at one place. So uh, the, the, when I visited Kenyan villages, uh, I realized that uh, people are living as a scattered community because they, it's, it means that they are living in their own farms and fields, so which, uh, which is as per their culture, but when it comes to the government, okay, and when it comes to my, my business opportunity especially, yeah, so when they are scattered and they are, when they are living independent and in remote areas, it is very difficult for any government to take the credit to where they are. For the first two years, he invested in the technology with absolutely no returns. He then resorted to social entrepreneurship model where the business is partnerships driven. What makes us to uh, say that we are social entrepreneur is, uh, is that uh, uh, we closely work with these customers, okay, and uh, we closely 
work with them to develop solutions that they can afford. See, I can't say that I have a solution that goes for 30,000 shillings and I can light up whole Kenya. That's not logic. You start something that can be affordable by everyone. If I want to develop something which, which is affordable by every household and which it has to be affordable, that means that I'm giving a simple solution which is not expensive. He further enrolled for the Strathmore Enterprise Program run by the Strathmore University, a program aimed at offering mentorship programs for entrepreneurs, training and above all, bringing together a host of other practicing entrepreneurs to share practical experiences. The program that is offered uh, by Strathmore, uh, SCDC, uh, Strathmore Enterprise Development Center, Okay, the Enterprise Development Program, it's actually a very good program for entrepreneurs. It is a very good orientation program because uh, though we are entrepreneurs and we are involved in so many activities and we also get to know uh, real-time uh, business methods or real-time business experiences but it's all, it's always good that uh, uh, it's always good that uh, to get to know about these programs and participate in such programs because uh, they are teaching you um, a good guiding principles that are mainly required in the businesses like when it comes to bookkeeping most of the inter small entrepreneurs they don't care because they say you know if they concentrate okay entrepreneur point of view they say if we concentrate on office work and every general administrative work, they can't concentrate on building business and developing business. So that way, uh, this program will teach the important aspects of uh, managing a business in a responsible way. Though we are entrepreneurs, some of them are successful, some of them are still trying to become successful, some of them have just started the business. But for everyone, this program is ideal because they cover all the subjects that entrepreneurs need to know and understand and practice in their daily life. All in all, Gotham believes in resilience and focus in business as the key drivers to success. Well, you heard about it from the entrepreneur himself, providing a local solution to a local problem. It is about the opportunity cost and just what you can do about it. Later on in the show, and that is in our expert corner, we will introduce to you Yunis Kimani, who is the, div, uh, the, the, the business development manager at the Strathmore Enterprise Development Center. She will talk to us about the mentorship program that looks at entrepreneurs of this nature and those who are aspiring entrepreneurs. They say in business, you don't need money to begin a business. You need a brilliant idea to have your business going. My name is Zawadi Mudibo. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this segment. This is the Expert Corner, and when it is the Expert Corner, we're talking about sharpening your business acumen. We are glad today we are joined by uh, Yonis Kimani, who is the Strathmore Enterprise Development Center in charge, and I'm talking about uh, her being the business development manager. Now, the Strathmore Enterprise Development Center is a center or a segment within the university that focuses on training and offering mentorship programs for entrepreneurs and that is you and I. You don't want to miss any bit of that interview segment. Now, welcome again to this edition of Business Foresight. Thank you very much uh, Eunice for your time. Thank you. You're most welcome. I want you to introduce the, the center to us. Um, who is Eunice and Tie that to what you do at SEDC. Okay, Eunice Mudoni Kimani is the business development manager of Strathmore Enterprise Development Center, a center which is uh, an initiative of Strathmore University that was set back in the year 2006 to uh, take care of the entrepreneurs, to build the capacity of entrepreneurs, and basically to provide uh, solutions to the typical. Uh, problems and challenges that they face every day as they operate their businesses. And so Eunice uh, comes in Strathmore University to get those entrepreneurs, to, uh, to, to go for them, look for them, bring them to a place they can get their problems solved because most of the entrepreneurs are very lonely. 
they, they do everything in their businesses. They are the watchmen, they are the accountants, they are the HR managers, they are the marketers. And therefore, they, 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 they eventually become very lonely. But when Eunice brings them to Strathmore uh, Enterprise Development Center and they meet with other entrepreneurs, they learn quite a lot. They exchange skills and experiences and they sharpen each other's skills. Mm -hmm. And Strathmore University comes in with uh, expert knowledge to train these people, to, to, to offer them mentorship and co co uh, co coaching programs that help these businesses to grow. Now what I read from uh, what you just said, the, uh, the center is all about uh, business networking. Um, I'm looking at uh, an innovative mind, uh, someone who wants to venture into entrepreneurship and they possibly uh, do not have the capital, they have the idea, uh, but they want some sort of information, some knowledge, uh, some mentorship on how and you know when to, to really plunge into it. So what is the prerequisite of anyone watching you now or listening to you that would like to know how can I access that program? What do they need to have? Yeah, uh, for anybody who wants to enter into uh, running a business or operating uh, an enterprise, we have a program that takes care of the, the business startups. And we, we, they usually come to us on one-on-one -on -one basis they tell us the idea that they are having. They tell us what kind of business they want to start. How much do they have in terms of capital? And we take them through a, a, a mentorship a program. We even have an incubation center for them within the university. Definitely not with Strathmore Enterprise Center, but we link them with our incubation center at iLab, which takes them through the, the, the screening and selecting of the viable business opportunity. They are taken through a training and thereafter when they, they get start up, when they, they start the business, they come to us now because we, we offer, in, in Strathmore Enterprise Development Center, we offer uh, growth oriented programs. But in, within the university, we have an incubation center for those who would want to be guided on the, the viable business opportunities they could start where they could even get finances, we link them up with financials. And once they have already started the business, they now come for the growth programs, yes. Okay, so what that means is uh, in order to join this program, you must be an SME or an aspiring SME. That is, uh, that is the catch. I, I want to understand, uh, must I be an SME owner? Uh, for me to get entry into the program or what other qualification could it be academic or otherwise? Uh, Strathmore Enterprise Development Center has various programs actually but we have one flagship program known as Enterprise Development Program. The Enterprise Development Program only focuses on those entrepreneurs that are already in business the SMEs as you call them small and medium enterprises that have operated business for more than three years uh, most of them have already created some employment, they, are, they have employed more than two people in their enterprises. They, they are making turnovers of over two million per year. Uh, th th these are the people that qualify to come to our uh, entrepreneurship program, the enterprise development program. And so for you to qualify for that, you must be operating a business. Because it's a growth oriented program that would help you now to move your business from where it is to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yes, but that does not mean that we don't deal, we don't cater for those that, that just have an idea and they haven't started. Those ones come to us on one-on-one -on -one basis and we take them through a mentorship program and coaching program and then we, we help them to get started. Once they get started now, they join our flagship program that makes their businesses grow. Well, if you're just joining us right now, uh, what you uh, learning or what you've had probably from uh, uh, Eunice Kimani is that you need to be an entrepreneur if you want to join the enterprise program and basically it is a program that is meant to grow your business from where it is to the next level. There is also an option for you to understand uh, just how to become a successful entrepreneur. You might be having an idea without the finances, but you need the information. They say that knowledge does not 
grow weary and therefore you need knowledge to be able to make informed decisions in life and therefore Eunice uh, tell us about uh, the program so far as it has been um, how many entrepreneurs have you been able to reach out to uh, what is your target say in the medium term uh, say three to five years and uh, what impact are you looking at uh, creating in society uh, after all that? Uh, the, end up, the, the Enterprise Development Program is not a very old program because it was started in the year uh, 2012, uh, the month of September. We've now had eight, eight groups. We usually have three intakes, January intake, we have May intake, and we have uh, September intake. We usually do a class of between 20 and 30, uh, we take them through 16 weeks training. Uh, training that happens every Wednesday, half day. We start at 8 in the morning and we finish at around 1.30. Our training is very practical, hands-on, very practical training because uh, regardless of the background of the entrepreneur, the, the education, educational background, we, we, we know that uh, most of the entrepreneurs have inborn drive that makes them become successful entrepreneurs. But we are saying we want these people to professionalize their businesses. And therefore, as we train them, we make it as practical as possible. And so, as we do that, this, the, the, we, we've seen the impact. People have been able, to, the, the testimonials have been able to tell us that uh, where their businesses were, they, are, they, are, they, they have now grown. Some, some entrepreneurs that have not been able to separate the businesses from themselves, right now they have professionalized, they have systems and structures that are making their businesses to grow, they have the, the, the HR system, the finance system, and they have been able actually to, to operate those small businesses professionally. And they have been able to grow. Look at their turnover after the training. Most of them have said they have, they have seen drastic growth in their businesses. And we've, we've now been able to reach, uh, within now the last three years that we have operated uh, the, enterpri the Enterprise Development Program, we have been able to reach about 200 entrepreneurs. Right, right now, as we speak, we are, we are getting in new class for the May Intake 2015, and most of the people have already applied. And we are going now to have the, the ninth class of entrepreneurs. And when we, we train these entrepreneurs, we don't just train them in class. We train and go back, go to their businesses, just to see have they started implementing what we, we have taught them in class. And our teaching is unique because we use local case studies. We, 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 we tell them to discuss the issues that, that face them in their businesses. And we, we, we bring in a case that they can identify with. And as they do that, they learn quite a lot. We also give them a chance to actually express their, 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 their challenges, the challenges that they are facing in their businesses, and they try to, uh, to help one another in class. It is very interactive. Entrepreneurs sharpen each other's skills. And when we, we go back to their businesses to interview them and to, to just find out how are they operating their businesses now after they have gone through the, the, the training, and we realize they have started implementing what we are teaching them. And so when we come back to class, we now start addressing the issues that we realized when we visited their businesses. Mm -hmm. And so we teach from a, a point of knowledge that this is what this person is lacking, this is the intervention he requires, and so we address that in class when we come back. Well, thank you very much for uh, that information. Um, maybe in winding us off, um, tell us about this person who has uh, a business and is struggling. Uh, probably the business is on the verge of bankruptcy. Uh, put in, say, 200,000 shillings. Uh, it's not working. They are making losses and they are contemplating quitting altogether. What would you tell such a person? I would tell that person that he needed to have joined our program like two years ago. That person needs to come to our class. And that is where we, we do a case a case for such a business because why, why do we do a case? We do a case when a, 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 an entrepreneur is in dilemma. He is at, at, at a crossroad. He doesn't know the decisions he needs to make. The, the business actually could be, could be the best business, 
but he reaches a crossroad. He doesn't know which, which decision to make. And we are saying such a person needs to come to our program. We have very successful entrepreneurs that are in our program today. Out of, out of the story of that entrepreneur, we'll listen to him, develop a case study. It will be discussed in a forum, a forum of very successful entrepreneurs, and that person will get the feedback there and there. He'll, he'll be able to know whether to close down, to close the shop, whether to, 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 to actually restructure the business, or whether he will actually be given the ideas on how to run that business. Mm -hmm. uh, could there be anything that you want to share with us that probably did not come out in the course of our conversation? Yes, I, I would like to, to, to tell the viewers that every end of the year, we usually bring together all the entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs that have gone through our program and others that do not know us because we usually tell them about uh, our annual conference. We usually do an annual conference that brings together about 500 entrepreneurs that share uh, knowledge and experience and we also showcase their products and services. And this year we are having it at the month, in, the, in the month of September and we shall be bringing together entrepreneurs that would want to show their, pro their, 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 their success, they would want to showcase their products and services. And we also have uh, the coaching program going on now. If you, you have a, a, a problem, you do not know what to do, you, you have reached a crossroad and you don't, don't know the decision that you should make about your business that is almost uh, dying, please come to us. Enterprise Development Center in Strathmore University will be able to help you and to link you to the a resource person that would help you to re-innovate re, re, re your business or re-energize your business. Well, thank you very much. Uh, now, what you, she did not tell you is the fact that uh, the program uh, has also the county feel. Uh, the entrepreneurs, uh, of course, from different counties across the country, and uh, the mentorship programs and seminars and workshops are conducted uh, ev in every county last month conducted in Thika uh, this month to be conducted in Nyeri and so the story continues so you never know it could be your county next on the line which is why you need to keep it biz foresight in order to sharpen your business acumen my name is Zawadib Dibo you've been watching the expert corner of business foresight for now I will leave you with the witty clip of the week and our quote of the day until next week see you then bye bye In our call to action this week, we focus on entrepreneurship. Wise words from Colin Powell. He describes entrepreneurship as the process of living a few years of your life like most people want, so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't. So, what is your sacrifice today? Remember the hashtag, BizForesight. My name is Zawadi Medigo. Excuse me, everybody. Derek, Jake, everyone. I got an announcement to make, and I got my friends here to help me out. <laughs> Guys, hit it. Shoot by the doo doo, shoot by the doo doo. -doo. I am quitting this job today. Hey, hey, hey. Even though I'd like to hear we're gonna start a new career, we're gonna make it to the top and start my coffee shop. I am moving on. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Why?